Hey everyone, thank you so much for clicking on to another DOY Creation 7 video. Okay guys, today I'm going to be showing you how I prepare my zucchini pasta. So before I get started, I always like to give praises and honor to the Most High Yah. So let me show you some of the ingredients that I'll be using today into this pasta that I'm making. I hope you guys can see this pretty well. Let me bring it up. I have some yellow peppers, orange peppers, red onions, tomatoes, avocados, and some lime. Okay, so that is what I'll be adding into my zucchini. I got a nice zucchini, not too big, a, a zucchini. And I also will be using some Himalaya pink salt, okay, and I have some turmeric, some garlic powder. I like to have garlic powder into my pasta dish, some black pepper, I got some coconut oil, and I'm going to be trying something extra today which will be some balsamic vinegar. So let me just show you what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to take the camera off me and bring it down some. Hold on for a second. Let me bring it down. All right. So here's all the ingredients with all the seasonings right there. All right. So I have this machine or this little tool right here, which is the um, zucchini. I guess you could put zucchini or whatever can fit in there to make your, you know, make your uh, raw pasta, or your vegetable pasta. And I have my little white bowl here. And the way I know a lot of you guys probably already know how this works, but for, for some of you guys who probably don't know how it works, um, you just take this here and you use the top at the end, but you can just simply take the uh, zucchini and just turn it. Just like this, guys. I've already washed this zucchini off really, really well. I really love this tool here. You know, uh, so far... The only thing I have used it for is the zucchini, but the recipe book shows you can use carrots in here. Um, I'm not for sure what else, but I specifically bought it for this use here, zucchini. And you see how, you see how it looks just like pasta? Okay. And one small zucchini can make quite a bit of pasta. So when you get to the end there, you can use this to press down if you want to get, actually want to use up all your, um, so you don't have any waste. All right, so here's the, here it is. And we all can use, you know, some raw food. And this is what you will have left. And then you could just take the remainder off. Okay. Now in here you will get uh, the more spaghetti looking kind like that. But that's fine. But here is the spaghetti pasta. Can you guys see that pretty well? So there it is. So what I'm going to do next, I'm just going to add in my ingredients which I'm going to add in some yellow peppers. I got my yellow peppers. I have my orange peppers. And I have my red onions. I love red onions. Okay. I got my tomatoes. tomatoes and I have avocado I love avocado as well 
avocado has so many health benefits okay so I have that all in there so now I'm going to add my just a little of the coconut oil I'm just going to add just a little all right and now I can start adding my seasoning which I'm just going to add some garlic powder not too much I'm going to add some turmeric not too much just a sprinkle I'm going to add some I'm going to add some salt but I'm, this is the uh, the Himalaya pink salt so it's probably a little bit better than actually the white salt but I'm just going to add just a little just to give it some taste some flavor and I'm going to add some black pepper all right just a little okay maybe a sprinkle and then I'm just going to combine all this together I'm just going to mix it in together okay that is looking so good already it's looking so very good so I'm just going to mix all that in together all right I could have put my vegetables in later but I wanted to put it in right now because I want to incorporate all the flavor together and then last but not least I'm going to squeeze a lime I'm gonna squeeze a lime over everything just like that and this is a really juicy lime here I I wasn't for sure exactly how much juice is in here but it looks like I got quite a bit so that is plenty so I'm just going to stir that around okay so okay guys that is how I do it so let me go ahead and plate it up so as you can see how it's looking, it looks so, so delicious, right? And you can see this amount right here. This is quite enough for, a, for that small, um, for that small zucchini. This is uh, plenty for two people. So let me go ahead and plate it up. Let me plate it up. I got another paper plate. Hold on. I got another paper plate right here so you guys can get a really good look at how it looks all right it looks good it smells good it smells so it smells so fresh that's how it smells it smells fresh all right let me just get that together make it looks really pretty in my house presentation is everything because we eat with our eyes first so there it is guys there is some raw zucchini spaghetti okay so let's give this a taste let me grab a fork back here. So here's a fork and let's try it out together, guys. So you see how easy that was to make? That didn't make that didn't take any time. If you're preparing your if you're already gonna be chopping up your uh, your vegetables in in advance, so it'll make your cooking time or non-cooking time even faster. And you see how that looks, guys? That looks very colorful, very healthy. And let's give it a taste. I know it tastes good. Oh, one more thing I forgot to add, guys, that I told you I would be adding. I did not add the balsamic vinegar. So let's, uh, this is a new bottle. Okay. So this is a new bottle. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pour just a sprinkle of it on here. Okay. 
not too much I just added a sprinkle can you see that yeah how does that look that looks so delicious it looks so healthy and anytime for me if I'm adding uh, avocados to a dish I know it's gonna work out good so let's give it a try you might have to use a, um, a knife as well because the uh, zucchinis is pretty pretty long Mm. 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 this is really really good actually the balsamic vinegar actually um can I see that the balsamic vinegar it was a nice addition to the overall flavor and the taste so anyway guys I just wanted to stop by and prepare this uh, lunch with you guys today uh, if you have any questions make sure you leave it in the comment box below and let me know if you try this out try it out like I said you can add whatever vegetables that you would like to your liking but you can make sure you're using the um, zucchini and even though it said it's, it said it's raw form when you add the lime or lemon to it it kind of helps breaks it down so it's not as um, I don't know it's not as something but it's delicious it is absolutely delicious so thank you guys for taking the time out to uh, click on to this video I hope you guys got some tips for eating more healthy and if you have any questions let me know if you have not already subscribed please take the time out to click on the subscribe button it should be somewhere at the bottom or the top Please make sure you click on the notary bell so that you can be notified when I upload new videos. And if you like uh, videos like this coming from me, uh, cooking with me, or preparing a dish with me, please make sure you leave that in the comment below and I'll share some other cooking ideas with you guys. All right, until next video, always remember Yah, Psalm 68.4 in the King James Version. Always keep your life and your health in check. And I'll check with you guys in the next video. Bye for now.